Okay, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to add and remove things from Onshape, and that will make more sense here. Uh, let's go in and make a sketch real fast. We're going to do it on our front plane, and then we're going to rotate over to our front plane using our view cube. I'm going to hit the letter L for line, and I'm going to follow my three rules. Start and end to the origin, don't have any crossing lines, and have a closed loop. So I want to make something that looks like this. If it's a closed loop, it will turn gray. And again, a closed loop just means that we are not, uh, when my mouse is inside of this, it can't go outside of it without crossing over a line that I've created. I'll hit my green check mark to finish my sketch. And then I'm going to go to extrude it. I'll select the gray area here. And I'm just going to extrude that one inch right now. Hit my green check mark. Now I can see that we have it in three dimensions. But what happens if we want to have something that goes beyond this? Like often many parts are not going to be the same thickness all the way through. They're going to have cuts or different thicknesses or different heights. We need to address for that kind of consideration. So what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, something that kind of comes up from this. And then we're also going to do something that cuts into it. There's one thing you have to know about this though. It has to exist on a flat surface. So if you have like, let's say a sphere, you can't do this. You have to create it on a plane. A plane is simply like front, top, right. And you also have the ability to create your own planes. We'll learn about that down the road. Uh, but to start off with, we're going to find a flat surface. Uh, this big flat surface here is what we're going to choose. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sketch. And then I'm going to click on that flat surface. And it's the darker gray. I'm not clicking on any of the planes that exist here. I'm just clicking on the darker gray area. Now what that does, you can see is if I rotate through here, there's a secondary plane. It says sketch 2. It's in front of our front plane. Uh, and it exists right on the top of that part there that we see. So when I go in here, now I'm able to draw and create more stuff. So let's say I want to create a rectangle. So I'm going to hit the letter G or go to my rectangle tool. And I'll go through and do something like that. Uh, at that point, I'm good to go. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to make this thing extrude upwards. So it's going to be taller. I'll finish my sketch. I will go to extrude. And then I'll click on that rectangle. You can see as I rotate through here, it is coming up out of the part. You'll also notice up here, we have new add, remove, or intersect. Make sure it's adding. If you hit new, it's going to create a secondary part down here, and it's going to be a totally different part than what it originally was on this one. Uh, there are ways to fix that, but it's easier just to keep them as a single item if it's meant to be a single item. So I'm going to make sure it's added. Uh, we can choose which direction it's going with this little arrow here, which it should pre-select to go up. Uh, and then I'll hit my green check, and it's good to go there. Now I can also go in and I can remove things. So I just need to find a flat surface that like, I want. Uh, I'm going to go to, let's say, this area right here. I'll go to Sketch. I'll click on that flat surface. And we can see that I'm on there. And I'm just going to very quickly say I want to have a circle hole go all the way through that. I'm not really worried about the size or location or anything like that. We'll talk about that in a future lesson. But I'll hit my green check mark. And from there, I can go to Extrude. I'll click on that circle. And instead of having it go out like that, I'm going to go to Remove. And you can see that it's going to cut in. It's going to cut in a distance of one inch. If I wanted to go through the whole thing, I can change the distance so it goes through. Or where this blind drop down is, I can click on that and just say through all. And then it's going to punch a hole all the way through the whole thing. When I hit my green check mark, I have the ability to look through my part now. You can see I look through. So I've added an extrusion on top. I've cut a hole through. And you can see there's an entire history of this. So if I wanted to change the size of that hole, I can just right click on sketch three edit it, and then I can drag that hole to be smaller, and maybe I want it to be over here. Once I'm done with that, I update it, and it automatically updates the drawing for me. So very quickly, you're able to generate lots of complex shapes, lots of complex things with very little work. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in our next video.